All right. If you're old enough, you may remember this Geritol ad. Take a listen. Everybody went out and bought it because they thought that would happen. <laughs> um, today, tired blood is more commonly called anemia. And it's not just your grandparents' problem anymore. Anemia involves a shortage of red blood cells in the body, and it actually causes everything from chronic fatigue to weakness, shortness of breath. And the problem is getting a brand new look from researchers. Joining me now is Dr. Jennifer Walden. She is with the Lenox Hill Hospital right here in New York. Doctor, good oh, to great. see you. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, it is, it is a real serious problem, not just older Americans. Why is this such a common blood disorder? Well, it's the most common blood disorder. Three and a half million Americans have it. And anemia can be caused by many things, such as blood loss. Um, women of childbearing age or that have a period every month can lose iron and therefore blood. Um, also, you can l you lose blood in your gastric uh, intestinal tract is in a bleeding ulcer. And also, elderly people, people with chronic disease such as cancer, can um, be anemic. But the most yeah. common cause is iron deficiency or right. nu nutritional problems. Well, what are the symptoms? How do I know if I have it? Tiredness. Um, you might have pale skin. You might not be able to do the exercise you once were able to do. You might feel dizzy when you stood up. Right. If you ignore it. What happens? If you ignore it, it probably will get worse because you haven't treated the underlying cause. And the underlying cause, and a lot of people say in their 20s to 60s, is going to be nutritional problems or for women um, having a period every month and okay. excessive bleeding from that. And just simple iron supplementation or B vitamin supplementation can help that. Also, increasing um, red meat in your diet, green leafy vegetables. And if you're a vegetarian, taking um, a lot of uh, nutritional supplementation will help. Yeah, now, those are all good and natural treatments. Right. Um Aren't there drug therapies, and are some of them dangerous? There are. Now, um, epigen, Procrit, those are fancy names for drugs that stimulate red blood cell production. And the problem with those is the FDA has recently said that if, if doctors over-prescribe them or make red blood cells too high in certain patients, like cancer patients, those people may die earlier, their tumors may grow, and also they may be at risk for heart attack, stroke, or the kinds of things when the red blood cells start sludging in the blood vessels because there's too many of them. What about things like Geritol and other, you know, sort of over-the-counter studs? Does that work? I think, sure, over-the-counter iron supplementation is probably one of the best things. Um, anytime I have a patient, um, 20 to 40-year-old girl who's going to get an elective surgery, I start iron supplementation because a lot of times they have a hemoglobin or a blood count of 9 to 10, and that's abnormal. But we, we tend to even think that's normal these days when we see that. So just dietary supplementation yeah. is, a, is a good thing to start. Not these fancy drugs now that we're hearing a lot right. about, especially with the cyclers using them to boost their horsepower and that sort of thing in the Olympics. Wow. And after seeing that old uh, Geritol commercial, I think I'll slip some of that in my wife's eyes too. Yeah, <laughs> that looks like a good idea. Might work for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Dr. Jennifer Walden, thanks very much. Thank you. Well, San Francisco's